filming. It's going this way, that too close up. The lights from the window. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to bite its toe. <laughs> Alright, let's put you back with the others. You've had quite a good feed, haven't you? You've had a couple of syringes fulls and mummy's milk. So you're going to go have a sleep now. Hi guys, well, Amy's puppies are now five days old. We've left them for a couple of days to get settled. Um, have some weights here. Number six, which you've just seen me hand feeding, started off at 217 grams and then he started dropping weight, went down to 202, then 201. So we decided to get some puppy milk from the vet and give him a little top up. And uh, as you've just seen, I've been feeding him on mum in the lounge and he's Starting to put some weight back on now, as of from today's back up to 210. He's obviously the smallest one of the litter. There he is, little squinny. But he's doing alright. And that's the other smallest one. Not sure which one's making all the racket. Oh, yeah. I can't find mum. And there's the other bundle of pups. So there you go, and that's day uh, five. Come on, Mum, you're going to feed puppies. I'll right, leave them to it. Cool. And uh, we'll see what they're like tomorrow. Hi, guys, it's the 20. What is it today? 25. 24th, Monday? 25th. 
25th, Monday the 25th of August 2014, I'm making this sort of uh, Amy's puppy video thing. We've got quite a small one which I'm having to um, boost top up with this Royal Cannon. So if you've had a litter of puppies and one seems a bit smaller than the rest and um, you're a bit concerned you can always top up the feed with this. Um, I didn't really know what to do when I first got it but it's always so simple. The only trouble is it's all foreign apart from a little bit of English here. But um, when you open it you get this leaflet Basically, although it's all in foreign, you can work out by the pictures what to do. But I'm going to show you what to do. So you buy uh, puppy milk from the vet, which is about £11. And um, in that, you get one, two, three, we've used a bit of that one, four sachets of uh, milk and you get um, a little dispenser thing which I'm not sure how much that takes but anyway you get a bottle and some teats there's three sizes of teats um, one for a newborn a couple of days old up to six weeks and beyond which is good I thought back in there, need that, put the instructions in there, that's one of the older teats, and I'm going to go over to the fridge, oh put kettle on, I'm going to go over to the fridge here, wherever the bottle is, where's the bottle, oh there it is, Baby's bottle you can get. So obviously, you've got to wash all that out. A bit like having a newborn baby, really. I don't know who didn't eat their dinners. Right. <laughs> uh, okay. So we wash the hands and some uh, antibacterial soap. That's getting quite hot now, which is good. I think it's 20. That might be um, that might be 10 10 mil. Not sure. To be honest, but I do know it's um, what it's got to be. Okay. 
So all I do is we fill the bottle to the 20 mil mark, exactly 20 mil, with boiling hot water. A bit more, but it's got to be 20 mil. There you go. 20 ml of water, and then you get the powder. That's virtually level. Get a knife or something, flat blade, and just make sure that is level. Into the bottle, like so. Give it a little tap so it's all in. Obviously, teeth into the lid and then screw that on. And then give it a good old mix. Exactly the same as you do with a human baby. Give it a good old mix up. You see, it's already coming out the top. Probably edit this bit out because this goes on for ages. But these these teats aren't that great because you know they don't it doesn't want to come out very easily. So if the puppy's small and it's not really sucking, it's not all good. So bag it up, back in your container, store that in a, a dry, cool place. And then what we need to do is to get a bowl, I'll just wash this up. I haven't sterilised it, as you've noticed, like we do with human babies. Um, just a good wash, because obviously the puppies are born with um, quite a solid old uh, anti-body system that fights germs, and of course there's a lot of that in the milk that comes from the mum. Because obviously, you know, we let her out to go to the toilet, and she's on the grass and that. And she comes in and she's dirty and the puppies feed and they're fine so just as long as you make sure. Right, I'm just gonna see if I can see I can't get any milk out of that. So I can't tell. But what I do I use a syringe. Wherever the syringe is, it's over here. Table. I can hear one swinging, is that the one? May well be. Oh, 
boy here. Come here. Alright. Oh, here he is. What are you screening for? Wait to the camera for a live camera. <laughs> Probably hungry, aren't you? We weigh him. Anyway, 210 grams. Okay, okay, little guy. Got some milk here for you. This is um, one mil in here. So keep him on his feet. And then go, come on in. And if they don't like it, there you go. Just a little bit at a time. And yeah, I know it tastes horrible. It's not like mummy's milk, is it? Just check. Put your finger, little finger in his mouth, just yeah, he's, just to check, make sure he's sucking. He is, which is good. And there you go, it's a little bit at a time. Do you like that? Mm, I don't like that. Tastes bloody horrible. And if you just gently put their mouth open and sit. Yeah, I know it's horrible. There you go. Do you like that? A little bit more. Oh, I'm pulling the wand. They don't like the taste of it. I mean, it is disgusting. I, I tried a little bit, and it is really bad. Come on, come on, a bit more. Try to go to sleep. Wake up. <laughs> wakey, wakey. Wake up. That's it. Wakey, wakey. It won't hurt just to do that and wake him up. A little bit more. A little bit more. There you go. Just above the tongue. There. Good boy. So he's had a meal. And we'll do that again in another hour. He's looking for mum, there's mum down there. And while the cameraman's there, I've got the biggest one. Squint, 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 which happens to be, I think it's this one, right? Look at the size of that one. Absolutely humongous. Yeah, not the biggest stuff to do. Get away to the camera. Hello camera. They'll have their eyes open in a couple of weeks. And then I can see what a mad world they've been born into. <laughs> so there you go, that's how you feed your smallest puppy. Well that's how I do it anyway. And fingers crossed, he should be okay. Each day is uh, an improvement. Isn't it? Well oh, yeah, yeah, each day's an improvement. <laughs> Film in there if you want. Right. Film in the box. Show the people the puppies. Mm. I could be a David Attenborough. <laughs> David Woofenborough. <laughs> oh, lovely. And then the uh, leftover milk can go in the fridge. You are. Awesome. Hi guys, well it's been 11 days now since Amy had her puppies. She, as you know, had seven, five boys and two girls. And um, if you remember rightly, one of them 
like you always tend to get, was the runt of the litter. And that was this little chappy down here. I'll scoop you out, here he is. He's runty. <laughs> Bless him. I think this one's going to be a dwarf dog or a mini dog. There you go, let's put you back. Because his birth weight was 217. Um, we weighed them all and we did notice that this particular one was small, smaller than the rest, and his weight started to drop and it got down to 201. Uh, his ribs were showing a little bit and he was cold and didn't seem to want to get on to mum. So we went to the vet and got some Royal Canin puppy dog milk. Now with that you get uh, five sachets of the powdered milk. So obviously you boil the kettle and then once the kettle's boiled um, you sterilise the bottle like you would a baby, human baby's milk bottle and then you fill this up to the 20 mil mark with hot water and then you just simply fill this up to the top and level it off and that's 10 mil so that's 10 mil of powder to 20 mil of hot water shake it all up like you do grab your puppy and then um, see if make sure he's sucking first and if he is sucking or she's sucking then try and um, uh, persuade them to take some milk in like a sort of sitting position like this with the head up here and the body down there um, if they don't seem to be able to get much milk out because these teats are a bit I couldn't get it not that I sucked it but um, I had a job to get milk out of this so what I did was I just simply took the top off um, and then sucked some milk out with the syringe and then every half an hour gave him 0.5 of a mil uh, don't ram it right down his throat, but they want to be sucking up to about here with this type of syringe because it's nice and small and they can get their mouth around it. Uh, and then they don't like it, but keep going because it's not very nice tasting stuff. I've tasted it myself, it's horrible. And then what I did then was gave him um, one mil doses, a um, couple in the morning, a couple in the afternoon, as well as actually getting him. I used well, I used to take Amy in the lounge, sit her on my lap with her belly up and then get the puppy and sit there with mummy and puppy uh, putting him on the mum, mum's teat uh, and just keep going with that. Last thing at night, topping up with this during the day and now um, after monitoring his, monitoring his weight um, he pulled up to 10 grams and then for three days he seemed to stay around about 214 and then um, yesterday he went up to 215 and then we weighed him again uh, first thing this morning and he was 237 and that's brilliant and I weighed him just now well it's 23 minutes past four but I weighed him at four o'clock today and now he's gone up to two, four, five. So he's putting loads of weight on. And the others are doing their normal projected growth rate. Uh, number three is heaviest at the moment. And um, that's just over half a kilo. So that's good. And the rest are catching up. He's catching up. Um, so yeah, uh, great stuff. Hey, Amy. You're a good girl, aren't you? Yeah, I'm a good girl. Yeah, I've got all the puppies. I was glad to get that out. <laughs> hey, say hello to the camera. Hello. Right. <whistles> yeah, she just chucked all them off. Never mind. Another good thing to do is um, put a label on your front door um, just before labour. Big label, highly viz. So uh, people do not knock um, and then just put your mobile number on there or the house phone so people can actually phone up before they knock the door because the danger is when these little babies are on mummy's nipples they suck on hard and they're sort of locked on 
And when the door goes off each time, may you know it rings or someone bangs on the door. Of course, Amy jumps up, and then all the puppies get knocked out on that bar there. So um, we've taken the stand of having a label on the door, and it's worked beautifully so far. I mean, you can't obviously stop the postman putting letters through, but she's uh, kind of used to that. Right then, I'll give you an update in a couple of days. Cheerio for now.